Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now in 2025, are you deciding to start a career as a GRC analyst or a cloud security engineer, but you don't know which field is right for you? So stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to compare these two entry level fields, a GRC analyst and a cloud security engineer, and hopefully help you decide which is the right career path for you. This is part two of my series in which I compare cloud security with other fields like uh, L1 SOC analyst, GRC, penetration testing, and help you decide based on various factors like how difficult it is to get into the entry level, how difficult, like how, how good are the long-term prospects and how vulnerable these jobs are to long-term AI and automation. So stay tuned and let's find out. If you're new to the channel, my name is Tamarish Lal. I'm a senior security consultant with Amazon Web Services. And in this channel, I give advice on cyber security careers, AI, cloud security. Uh, please do like and subscribe to this channel if you find it useful. So let's get started. Okay, so what am I talking about? In this video, I'm comparing cloud security engineer versus a GRC analyst. Both are entry level positions, both are excellent like uh, fields within cyber security, but both are very different career paths. So if you let, let's find out like what is the right path for you, depending on the very nature of these two jobs, right? So these two jobs are very different. Cloud security is more technical. GRC is more analytical. So it really depends on what sort of person you are, what you find interesting and what are your long term goals, right? Where do you want to go? So again, disclaimer, which I always give because I'm afraid people might get angry with me. This is my 100% subjective opinion. If you feel differently, no problem at all. But like I said, this is based on my experience, based on around 20 plus years of experience within cybersecurity. So this is like a, consider this as just good, good, like good advice from someone who's been in the industry for a long time. So first of all, let's take an overview of these two roles, right? Like I said, these two roles are very, very different from each other. Uh, cloud security engineer and a GRC analyst. So let's take a look at a GRC analyst. Governance, risk and compliance. I've talked about it many, many times. I have a complete video on this also. I link it uh, in which I talk about how to become a GRC professional and like I break it down. So do check that out if you're not familiar with GRC. But in a nutshell, you are making sure that your company is compliant to internal policies or external regulations, cybersecurity frameworks like NIST, ISO 27001, GDPR, you know, and on and all. And you have to conduct risk assessments either as a good practice or as a requirement. And you have to map controls to frameworks. There's a lot of documentation. Uh, you have to coordinate with external auditors, internal auditors, regulators. So it can become very stressful, especially if you don't like auditors. Yeah, this is not the job for you. Or, and you have to also perform vendor, like vendor third party risk assessments. This is a very analytical position. You should be good at like understanding frameworks, understanding standards and understanding how to apply them. Like I said, I have a complete video on this. I'll link it. So do check that out also. Uh, as a cloud security engineer, now I'm in cloud security. Um, as an entry level position, this is more like uh, what do you call you have to design secure cloud architectures. You're working in a cloud environment, AWS, Azure, Google, Oracle, or in multiple cloud environments. If you're in a multi cloud environment, you have to implement cloud native security controls or maybe third party solutions like Trend Micro or Wiz. You have to review infrastructure as code, things like containerization, microservices, put in things like cloud, like uh, cloud security response, you know, automations. And you have a lot of collaboration with DevOps and engineering teams. So there's a, this job, as you can clearly see, is more technical in nature as opposed to GRC, which is more analytical in nature. I, I'm not saying either of these is more easier than the other. It really depends on what sort of position you are. I've known people who are very, very good at analytical, but they're not that technical. So of course, GRC is more better for them. I know people who hate documentation, who cannot stand looking at standards. They are more technical. Cloud security is more suited for them. But the question is entry level difficulty, like how difficult is it? It is to get your foot in the door, right? If especially if you're starting out with GRC analysis, it's the entry point is more easier. Uh, you do not have to be technical to get into governance, risk and compliance, which is the biggest advantage, I would say. If, if you are non-technical or you're just starting out, you can break in with the right training, with the right knowledge about uh, NIST, PCI DSS and those sort of standards. There are many, many courses and templates to learn and you get a much broader exposure. You find out how companies work, how regulations are set up, what are the implications of regulations? How can you get fined? And uh, like, you know, so you get a much, uh, you get a exposure to a wide variety of stakeholders. What are the cons of this documentation? Uh, there is a lot of documentation in GRC. I'm not going to lie to you. If you like, I used to look after GRC for four or five countries 
in my previous job and the documentation used to drive me crazy especially when you're dealing with things like pci dss mist uh, SOC type 2, SAS 70, those sort of reports, they, it can be documentation could be quite extensive. And, uh, you know, a, your report writing and communication needs to be good if you want to succeed in GRC. And moving on to more senior roles, you know, becoming a senior GRC analyst or a head of GRC, head of uh, like uh, IT risk, uh, it can take time if you don't specialize, if you don't really up your game when it comes to communication and dealing with stakeholders. You, there's, there's a lot of interaction here. If you're not a people's person, if you don't like interacting and clashing with people, this is not the job for you. So the, while the entry point is much easier compared to cloud security, but these are the things you should be aware of. But cloud security is a more advanced entry. I'm not saying advanced in the sense that you cannot break in. Of course, you can do that, but it's slightly more difficult than GRC because uh, what do you call, you need to be more technical. But the good point is you can get a higher salary because like I said, the skills are much more difficult to get. You need to understand cloud architecture, automation, you know, infrastructure as code, Python. So you need to get that. And you might have a much more, like a bigger variety in your day-to-day -day work compared to GRC where you're not just doing documentation or PowerPoint slides all day long. Uh, the cons of this, of course, is that you need to have that experience, right? You need to understand how to go about, uh, like uh, how to deal with uh, cloud infrastructure, how to read infrastructure as code, how to read Terraform, like, you know, how to secure cloud environments. So you need a much better technical foundation at the outside. If you're not technical, if you have no idea how cloud works, it will be much more difficult to get with. With GRC, a lot of companies, they can see that if you're good at documentation, if you have a basic understanding, they are happy to take you on and then upskill you through training. With cloud security, it might be slightly more different because companies want you to hit the ground running from day one. They don't have time for you to upskill if you're not that like uh, good in cloud security, simply because cloud environments are very, very fast and you have to upskill, you, you have to be ready from day one, right? Uh, what is the vulnerability to AI and automation? This is something I cover in all my like in all the videos of this series, because AI is here, it is changing the job industry. Every job that I talk about, I want to make sure I cover it from the perspective of how dangerous, how vulnerable this job is to AI. So with a GRC analyst, the automation risk is very low. Uh, certain tasks, you know, like compliance checklist, or you can do risk scoring documentation. They get, they are being automated by GRC platforms. If you have ever worked in a GRC platform like RSA Archer and all that, uh, a lot of things they do automate, you know, it becomes very, very uh, like a streamlined documentation and everything. But uh, GRC, uh, a lot of human judgment is very, very much required, right? It's like understanding security requirements and then conducting risk assessments and reading between the lines, understanding what is there, what is not there, understanding where you can lower the risk threshold, where you can increase the threshold. That requires interacting, talking to people. No, I, AI cannot do that. So AI cannot read between the line and understand what a stakeholder is trying to say, the ambiguities and the gray areas, you know, you need a human being for that. So uh, you really, the automation risk is not that uh, high, honestly speaking. And, but you, you should understand how to like uh, these uh, GRC platforms, learn how they work. There are many, many videos for that. Just have a good understanding of how these platforms are working so that you future-proof yourself. But you need to make sure that your higher level skills like business communication, understanding third-party risk management, reporting. Like I said, communication and reporting are very, very important in GRC. You will not go far if you are not good at either of these things, communication and reporting. So upskill yourself ASAP if you want to build a career in GRC. Uh, cloud security engineers, same thing. The automation risk is low. While a lot of things in cloud security can be automated, there's a lot of cloud architecture reviews, threat modeling, which require a lot of human insight. You know, uh, custom engineering, like architecture, compliance, all of these things, they require a human being to understand. As more companies are migrating to the cloud, like I said, especially with the AI boom, nobody is going to be putting their AI systems in-house. All of them want to move to the cloud. So the demand is going to be definitely going to be there. I do not expect AI to be replacing GRC or cloud security anytime soon. What are the long-term career prospects? So okay, now, we, now you have a good idea about the entry-level difficulty and the vulnerability to automation. The long-term prospects for both of them, a GRC analyst is evergreen. Honestly speaking, it's not going to go away anyway soon, especially with all the frameworks and security requirements that keep coming out, but it is evolving. So like I said, GRC is foundational. Every industry that is regulated, be it banking, fintech, uh, healthcare, 
all of them have GRC standards which you have to comply with. Automation will take over simple repetitive tasks, you know, like risk assessment, checklist and all that. But people, especially companies, the stakeholders, they want people who are experts, who can advise them, who can make them understand how to implement these standards. And for that, human insight is very much required. But if you want to be successful long term, you need to specialize. Find your particular industry. Is it finance? Is it healthcare? It is privacy because all of them have different standards. You know, learn to communicate, learn to write, and understand what are the key regulatory trends which are happening in the industry. Things like the EU AI Risk Management Act, you know, the NIST AI Risk Management Framework, the NIST 2, whether you're in the EU or in the Middle East or in the UK or in the USA, all those different standards are coming out which are impacting things like quantum computing. These new trends are coming out. You have to be aware of them because you will be asked these questions in your interviews. Uh, similarly, cloud security engineer also create long-term prospects here. There's a high demand and longevity, like I said, because of the AI thing. It is one of the most future-proof cybersecurity domains because more and more managed services are coming in as companies want to reduce the cost. Long-term strategy, keep upgrading yourself, keep upskilling yourself, stay current with cloud security certifications, but don't just focus on them. Expand into multi-cloud, Build your hands-on skills, learn Python, learn a little bit of infrastructure as code with things like Gen AI, Chat GPT, BARD. You can learn, you can simply upskill very, very fast on C. There is no, don't say that I don't know how to code or anything like that. Please, nowadays it's very, very easy. So no excuse with either of these the two things. So which is right for you? So I hope you now have a better understanding of both of these two entry level positions. So choose GRC analyst if you like working on standards, you're more analytical, you like working with the legal things, managing risk assessments, and you like analytical thinking, strategic thinking over technical troubleshooting, right? If you're not a technical person, cloud security is not for you. If you're more analytical, definitely GRC. And you want a business facing rule, you can influence the big picture. You can tell the company, these are the standards we have to comply with, and you have a roadmap for the next 12 to 18 months, right? And you like structured environments, which are very, very regulated. And you want to author security policies. So you are, you are the one who want to be writing and, you know, driving security policies. Definitely GRC is right for you. Choose a cloud security engineer if you like more project-based architectural work where you're migrating workloads to the cloud, where you're migrating applications to the cloud. You like designing systems, system design, threat modeling. Uh, you know, you are more like you're more technical, simply put. And you want to work more proactively than waiting for a standard to come or an audit to come. And like I said, in GRC, it's better if you author security policies. With cloud security, you want to build systems that enforce those security policies. So if you want to be the person who is implementing those security policies in practice, you know, PCI DSS, CIS benchmarks, how they are transferred or translated into a cloud environment, then definitely this is the position for you. So I hope now you have a very good understanding of both of these two positions, uh, cloud security engineer versus a GRC analyst. Like I said, I'll link my video on GRC below also if you want to dive deep, more deep into that. So I hope this was useful to you. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.